Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Hoops here back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my top 50 NBA players coming into the 2021-2022 NBA season. So before you do anything, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment whatever you want. Make sure you get me to 50 subscribers before the NBA Summer League and let's get it started. So first we have the pool here. These are basically all the players that I have and some maybe leftover players that could be considered but before we do anything add row below and we're going to be doing HM honorable mentions I think that an honorable mentions can be like a Colin Sexton Christian Wood could be there uh, I think that Mike Conley will also be there uh, Fred Van Fleet will probably be here too and hmm, I think that John Collins will also be here too. I think that these five players will probably be like just barely out of the top 50. Like they could still be a top 50 player, but they might not. It's like it's 50-50. They might, they might not. But anyways, let's get into the actual top 50. So the 50th player that I think will be here, number 50 Jeremy Grant. I think that Jeremy Grant will still be at like the same level he was last season, so I think he'll be and he was I think he was a top 50 player last season too. So I think he'll be here too. Uh 49, I think it could be Karis LeVert. 48, I think will be this might be a hot take, but I think 48 could be Anthony Edwards, I mean, with the Timberwolves this season, I think he had an underrated season. He averaged like 19 points and something like that. So that was pretty good, especially for a rookie coming into the league who might not be the most efficient player. But yeah, uh, 47, I think 47 could be Rudy Gobert. Like these players are 50 through 46. There might not be a certain order, but these players are in the 50 through 46 so yeah uh wait 1 2 3 4 50 49 48 47 so we do have one more so i think that 46 this i'm not sure if it'll be a hot take or not but i think ben simmons will be 46 these five players will be 50 through 46 so let's go through 45 through 41 so 45 I think will be, where is he, DeAndre Ayton. I think DeAndre Ayton will be better than last season, but not much better. Like, I think he'll, like, improve his stats. He'll be better, but he wouldn't be, like, that much better, if that makes sense. But he will be a top 50 player. Uh, 44, I think, will be uh, Drew Holiday. So, 55, DeAndre Ayton, 54. Drew Holiday, I think that uh, these players will be better than the players below them because of how they were in the playoffs. I think they, they could continue that throughout next season. Uh, 43, this also might be another hot take, but I think 43 will be Michael Porter Jr. of the Denver Nuggets. I mean, it seems like he's improving every year, so you would expect for him to improve even more this year. And I think he can emerge as a top 50 player next season. 42, 42 I think, will be DeMar DeRozan. Where is he? DeMar DeRozan is... See, yeah, here he is. I think 43, or no, 42 will be... DeMar DeRozan, 41, this, I'm not sure, this might be a hot take, but I think that CJ McCollum will be 41, actually, let's change it up, I think that CJ McCollum will be 43, no, CJ McCollum will be 42, DeMar DeRozan will be 43, and Michael Porter Jr. will be 41, so that is 50 through 41. Next, we're 40 through 40, 40 through 36. So I think the 40th best player in the NBA next season will be Tobias Harris. I mean, I think he'll be better than how he was last season. But I think this NBA season, there will be a lot of good players that will be kind of hard to tell who will be the top 50 players. 
So, I mean, Tobias Harris, I think he could be maybe an all-star player. I'm not sure, but I think he will be somewhere near this level. Uh, 39. I think 39 will be Brandon Ingram from the Pelicans. There's been rumors that he might want to go to the Miami Heat, but that's highly unlikely. I think he will go to the... Uh, I think he'll stay with the Pelicans, and I think he'll be the 39th best player in the league next season. Uh, 38, I think, will be Nikola Vucevic. I mean, he was with the Bulls last season, or he was traded to the Bulls last season at the trade deadline, and it seemed like the Bulls were winning a lot more games when he was there with Zach Levine, but I'm pretty sure someone got in. I'm not, I don't remember who got injured, but I'm pretty sure someone got injured last or near the end of the season and the Bulls did not make the play in tournament so that's pretty unfortunate but I think Vucevic will be the 38th best player in the NBA 47 no 37 I think will be Kyle Lowry I think Kyle Lowry could regress but he'll still be a winning player he'll win you games he'll he's like uh, uh, like a lesser version of Chris Paul, kind of, but better at some things. Like, he's a better defender than Chris Paul, so I think he could still be at this type of level. So, yeah, my 37th player is Kyle Lowry. My 36th player, I think, will be Jamal Murray. I mean, he's coming off of an ACL injury, so this might not happen, but if you saw what Kevin Durant did, he came off an ACL injury, and he's playing the best ba- one of the best basketball career or seasons of his life so I mean Jamal Murray could come back and he'll be the same he might improve he might regress but either way I think Jamal Murray will be here so that wraps it up with the 40 through 36 so let's go on to 35 through 31 so I think the 35th best player in the league next season will be Chris Middleton I mean Chris Middleton in the finals he was inconsistent But if he can be consistent, he could be an all-star player. And I think Chris Middleton will be a little more consistent, but he'll still have some off games. But I think he will be around this range. Next for 34, I think we'll have Bam Adebayo. I mean, this is kind of tough because Bam had a terrible play or first round. And he, yeah, he had a terrible first round. So... He might stick with that. He might improve. He might just be how he was last season in the regular season. But I think Bam will be somewhere near this level around this area with like a Chris Middleton, Jamal Murray, Kyle Lowry type of area. So yeah. Next, 33, I have DeMontis Sabonis. The Pacers, they're going to have an interesting free agency. Who knows? They might want to blow it up. They might want to be contenders. They held, they hired Rick Carlisle, so they might be. They might try to make the playoffs. So I think that Demontis Sabonis will still be an All-Star caliber player. So I think he'll be around this range. Next for 32, I'm not sure if this is a hot take. This might be common sense, but Lamelo Ball. If you haven't noticed, rookies usually rookies like Lamelo Ball or have like the talent Lamelo Ball was usually get better every single year so you would expect LaMelo Ball to get better and maybe be considered an all-star caliber player next season so I think LaMelo Ball will be at this range and finally 31 I think will be Klay Thompson I mean Klay Thompson is coming off two season ending injuries so this might not happen actually you know what I think that Klay Thompson will be uh 35 and then these players will be ahead of him actually Bam Adebayo will be 35 and then Chris Middleton or yeah I think this will be this order if you guys haven't noticed I'm putting players in order so like Jeremy Grant was 50 Karis LeVert is 49 and that goes for everybody here so yeah so that is 35 through 31 so let's go to 30 through 26 so the 30th best player in the NBA I think will be Pascal Siakam I mean he's really he went from being like really good to being just overrated after he had a terrible bubble he's been he was really good he averaged like 21 7 or 8 and then he averaged like four assists two on 45 percent from the field and like I mean before the Raptors got COVID 
They were like one of the best teams in the East. They were like the four seed for a moment. But then one of the games got canceled and then they dropped all the way because they didn't have a few games and a lot of teams went above them. So I think Pascal Siakam will come in and I think he'll redeem himself. I think he can be an all-star level player next season. So yeah. Next for 29, I think will be, where is he? Uh, I think it will be Ja Morant. I don't think he... Yeah, he's right here. Ja Morant, I think, will be 29. I think Ja Morant can be an all-star next season because it seems like he's been improving every single year so far of his career. So, yeah, I think Ja Morant will be at this type of level near the 30s. Uh, next for 28, I think it will be De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox... One of the most underrated players in the NBA. He averaged like, what, 24, 25? And nobody's been talking about him. I think he can be an all-star next season. And there's been rumors that he might get traded for Ben Simmons. And if I was the 76ers, I would do that in a heartbeat. Because De'Aaron Fox is an all-star level point guard without a doubt. And I think he can and will get the recognition next season. Next, for 28, I think it will be... Julius Randle, I mean, in the playoffs, Julius Randle was disappointing, but I could definitely see him being back to maybe normal, like how he was this season. I think he'll be a little bit worse, but he'll still be like an impact player, like a one-option player, an all-star worthy player. I mean, he might just be playing like how he was before the all-star break, because we all know that he went crazy after the all-star break. So I think he could be like how he was last season at like the before the all-star break. So I think Julius Randle will be there. Next for 36, I think it will be Carl Anthony Towns. If I'm being honest, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the most disrespected players in the NBA. He doesn't get the recognition at all. People are like saying that like DeAndre Ayton is better than him for some reason, even though Carl Anthony Towns is a seven foot center that's shooting over 40% from three. He probably is the best shooting center, the three point shooting center of all time. We might, we haven't really seen any centers that have like shot threes at percentage as Carl Anthony Towns. But there's been a few, but Carl Anthony Towns is definitely the best player out of all of them. And I mean, Carl Anthony Towns last season still played like an all-star. But then again, he didn't get any recognition because he got injured a lot. But when he did play, he was playing really good. So that wraps up 30 through 26. So let's go into thir er, 25 through 21. So I think 21 will be, or er, 25 will be Zach Levine. I mean, Zach Levine is a good player. Like, he averaged, like, what, 27 points per game this season? And, I mean, if we look at his stats, it's like he's been jumping up two or three points every season. So he could be a 29, 30-point-per-game scorer next season. But if I'm being honest, that may not happen because now he has Vucevic, so he has to share the ball more. But I will think that he'll be more of an impact player. His scoring may drop down. But I think that he will get better at other things. Like, I think he'll be an improved defender. He might go from a bad defender to, like, a below-average defender. But that's still good for Zach Levine because that'll still help the Bulls in some sorts of way. So, yeah. Next, for 30, or 24, I have Shea Gilgis Alexander from the Thunder. If I'm being honest, he will be an all-star next season. Like, he has superstar but i wouldn't say superstar potential but he will have like maybe an all-star starter potential i think shea gilgis alexander after chris paul came to the thunder mentored basically all the young players on the thunder and then he just after he left all those thunder players emerged to be like 10 times better than what they were and if we're being honest shea gilgis alexander this season could have made uh, an argument to be an all-star because he averaged like what 25 or 24 25 on like 50 percent from the field he's on the thunder so you can't say that's like inflated stats or empty stats because he shot it efficiently usually if it's like inflated or empty or empty stats they'll be they'll shooting on like an inconsistent level like 30 something percent from the field but he shot 50 percent from the field so that means he was 
basically making half of the shots that he takes. And on an NBA level, that is ridiculous. So I think that Shea Gilgis Alexander will be in this range. So 23, I think, will be Chris Paul from the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I mean, Chris Paul had a disappointing playoffs, I would say. Or not, I, like, I wouldn't say disappointing, but in the fi- in the finals, yeah, the finals, he was disappointing. He had, like, one good game, and the rest of the games he was, like, mediocre or he just sucked. But I think Chris Paul will come back to the Suns, and he'll be even more hungry to win a championship now. So I think that Chris Paul will be in this range still. Next, for the 22nd best player in the NBA, I think it will be Jalen Brown from the Celtics. I mean, Jalen Brown, I think, will be an all-star this season. If you haven't noticed that these players right here are like the players that can be an all-star next season, I think that Jalen Brown is and will be better than like a Bradley Beal in the next few years. But as of right now, I think that Jalen Brown is just like an all-star player. Like, uh, not even an all-star, a borderline all-star player next season. So, yeah. And finally, 21, I have, not Luka Doncic, I have Russell Westbrook from the Wizards. I think Russell Westbrook will stay with the Wizards unless they make a trade for, like, Bradley, if they trade away Bradley Beal. But if they don't, I think that Westbrook will stay, and I think he will be. Around the same level he was last season, maybe a little bit worse because of the age. But I think Westbrook will be like another player that will be an all-star next season. So yeah, next, basically 25 through 21 is done. So let's go through 20 through 16, the top 20 players in the NBA. So number 20, I have Paul George. I mean, Paul George from the bubble, if we're being honest, he sucked. But this season, he kind of redeemed himself and played like how he used to before. And I mean, in the playoffs, people can't really say anything because in the playoffs, he did good as well. So I mean, Paul George, I think he will be back to normal. And I think Paul George will be around this range. Next, 19. This might be a hot take, but I think 19 will be, if he's here... Is he here? Uh, right here. I think 19 will be Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat. I think Jimmy Butler, he's one of those players that will be like hungry to win or to win with the Heat because of how bad the whole Heat team was last season in the playoffs. So I think Jimmy Butler will try will be better and he will be an all-star caliber player. Next, 18, we have Bradley Beal. I think Bradley Beal's scoring might go down from, he averaged like, what, 30 points? I think it'll go down to, like, 27 points. I think the Wizards will, they've been under the radar. I think the Wizards will try to make a lot of major moves. Like, I could see them going for, like, wing players. Like, they could go for, like, an auto porter type of player. But we'll keep that for another video. But anyways, Bradley Beal, I think he will be in this range. I think he will be an all-star player. And I mean, Bradley Beal, he deserves this spot. Next for, what is this, 17? I'm not sure if this is a hot take or not. It could be, just some people it cannot be for other people. But I think Anthony Davis will be 17. I could definitely see Anthony Davis playing better than how he did last season. He was injured for a lot of the season last season. But even when he did play, he he wasn't good. But I think when he will play this season, whenever he's not injured, I think he will play good. I don't think he will play like a superstar. I think he'll play like an all-star player. But Anthony Davis will be number 17. And to wrap up the 20 through 16, I have Devin Booker. I mean, I could totally see Devin Booker becoming... An all-star starter quality player. I mean, after the playoffs this season, Devin Booker, I think, will be like the Shea Gilgis Alexander effect. Chris, he spends what, like what a season with Chris Paul. Chris Paul will probably stay, in my opinion, but he spends a season with Chris Paul, and he'll get like a, a way better. So I think Devin Booker will be here. So that wraps up 
20 through 16. So let's go through 15 to 11, the top 15 players in the NBA. So number 15, I have Trey Young. Trey Young was great in the playoffs. I mean, I don't like Trey Young, but I think he will be in here. So yeah. <laughs> you could tell I don't like Trey Young because I don't want to talk about him at all. Uh 14, I think this I don't think this is a hot take. I think people should realize this. I think 14 will be Donovan Mitchell. I mean, you guys have to realize this. I think Donovan Mitchell will average like 29 points a game maybe a little bit less like 27 28 but i think he will become like one of the leading scorers in the nba i mean i could totally see him becoming like the second coming of Dwayne wade like literally we're seeing that with our own eyes and we're not even realizing that yet so donovan mitchell number 14 number 13 i have kyrie irving i think kyrie irving will play like the same how he did last season so there's not much to say here so yeah uh 12 this is an interesting one i think 12 will be zion williamson i could totally see zion williamson becoming a borderline superstar lat next season i mean zion he's definitely been improving every year he's a monster whatever he's good at He's a monster at. Like, he's a beast in the paint. Like, he literally won't miss a shot in the paint. He'll shoot, like, 80% 80 from the paint. So, Zion, I think he will become that. And I think the Pelicans, since they made the trade today to acquire Jonas Valanciunas, they they got rid of a lot of cap, or they got rid of a lot of money. So, they have a lot of cap space, so I think they could go... For a player like Kyle Lowry, because there's been reports that he wants 90 million per three years, or they could just match whatever offer Lonzo Ball gets. So I mean, either way, that'll make Zion better because he'll have a point guard that play, mostly playmakes. So yeah, I think Zion will be in this range. Uh, number 11, I think will be James Harden. I mean, James Harden for a bit of last season. For like maybe a week or two, he was an MVP candidate. But I think he'll tone things down a little bit. I think he'll reduce his, or he'll, his scoring will decline, but his playmaking will go up. I think he could average like, what, seven, eight assists a game and still average like, what, 24, 25 points per game. So yeah, so that wraps up 10 through 11. So finally, let's go through the top 10 players, 10 through 6. So, at number 10, we have Jason Tatum. I think Jason Tatum will be, like Zion, a borderline superstar next season. I think that he'll be, well, he'll definitely be an all-star starter, especially in the East, where there's not, the East have more well-rounded teams, I would say, but all-stars wise, it's weaker than the West, but Tatum will be an all-star starter to lock next season. I'm not even going to debate that. He will be. You could quote me on that. He will be an all-star starter next season unless he gets injured. But anyways, Jason Tatum, I think he could. This season, he averaged like, what, 25, 26, 27 along those in, along that range. I think Tatum can average like 28, 29, maybe 30 because he's so talented. He's like, when I watch him, he reminds me of a, like a budget Kevin Durant kind of like his release with Kevin Durant it reminds me of him for some reason I don't even think it looks like that much but it does remind me of him but I think Tatum will be here next number nine I think it will be Damian Lillard Dame Dalla Damian Lillard he's hold on excuse me for that but Damian Lillard he's an interesting player he see, he's a loyal player to Portland, but at the same time, there's been a lot of rumors that he might request a trade, he might get traded, and there's been a lot of rumors that he said that those was fa- there, uh, those things were false, those rumors were false. Even like Yusuf Nurkic were saying that anybody will say anything, for, or something like that. But Damian Lillard, I still think he'll be a top 10 player in the NBA I mean, he's one of the best scorers in the NBA. I think he can and will average like 13 points or not 13, 30 points per game. 
I think he could average that and maybe even more. He might be like McCurry. He might average like over 30 points per game. He might be like Harden a few seasons ago where he averaged like 36. I think Lillard can definitely be like that. So, yeah. Next, number eight, we have Kawhi Leonard. Ka Kawhi Leonard. What it do, baby? Okay, I'm a Raptors fan. I hated when he left, but that doesn't matter. Kawhi in the playoffs was a beast, but he got an ACL injury or something like that. And, I mean, Kawhi, he'll probably miss some of next season, like probably like the first month or two of next season, I think. But when he comes back, I think he will be better. And I think, or not better, I think he will be like the same as how he was last season. I don't see him improving. I don't see him regressing. I think he'll stay the same. So yeah, Kawhi is my eighth player, eighth best player in the NBA next season. Number seven, I think it will be Nikola Jokic. I mean, this season he played out of his mind, but I think he'll tone it down a little bit because, I mean, Jamal Murray's coming back. I think the Nuggets will also try to make a lot of moves too. They might even, I think they could possibly trade Aaron Gordon too. But Jokic, I think he he'll, he might average a triple-double. I think he will be in this area. Like, I wouldn't say like a, like an MVP player, but I think Jokic can definitely be like a top something player in the NBA. So, number six, we have Joel Embiid. I mean, in the playoffs, he played good, but he had no help because Ben Simmons sucks. But, I mean, Embiid, he's probably one of the most talented centers we've ever seen in NBA history. He could literally do everything, but his turnovers are... His turnovers are like his only weakness. But Embiid, I think he can lead the Sixers to like the one or two seed in the East. And I think he could make it far and lead them far into the playoffs next season. So, yeah. So, now we are moving to the top five. Five through two. And then we'll see who's the number one player. So, number five, I think, will be Luka Doncic. I think Luka will be... An MVP candidate next season. I mean, this season I thought he would be. But he, he seemed to play maybe a little bit worse than how he was last season. You could debate all you want about that. But I think Luka will be an MVP candidate next season. And there's not really much to say about him. I think he will improve his shooting. Because, yeah. So, yeah. Number four. I think this is pretty obvious. I think number four will be LeBron James. I mean, he's coming off of an injury, and it seems like he hasn't been playing the same after that. But I think LeBron still will be a top five player in the NBA. Maybe not an MVP candidate, but I think he still will be maybe in the talks. But I think LeBron will lead the Lakers to maybe like a five or something seed. I think that the Lakers will not be good next season. I think that They'll have, like, a good, like, starting five, but their bench will suck. And I think LeBron may. I don't think he'll have an impact on that, but he could at the same time if things don't work out, and I think that might happen. So, number three, I think, will be Kevin Durant. I mean, he's probably one of the most skilled basketball players we've ever seen in NBA history. I mean, he could literally do everything. He's definitely not going to regress next season. I, I don't think he'll improve anything, but I think he'll stay the same. He may be better next season if James Harden and Kyrie take a little bit of a step down. But I think Kevin Durant will be here. Number two, I think will be Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, he just won a championship. So, I mean, there's not really anything else to say. Because Giannis, he just won a championship. And I see him playing like how he did in the finals, but in the regular season and I think he will be an MVP candidate I personally think that he will win the MVP next season so yeah so that leads the number one player you guys might see it but that is the one and only Wardell Stephen Curry <laughs> I think that Stephen Curry will continue his hot streak from next season 
I think Steph Curry will be an MVP candidate like how he was last season. Steph Curry, I think even with Klay Thompson coming back, and I think they will try to make trades to get their third star, I think Steph Curry will lead the Warriors to a playoff spot. I think they could be like a top five team in the West, maybe even the top five team in a league, depends on their record. But I think Steph Curry will be the number one player in the league next season. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment whatever you want. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm Hoops, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.